This weekend, we're exploring Guerneville, a small town with a bohemian vibe located in western Sonoma County on the banks of the Russian River. Since 2008, it's also been the mini empire of entrepreneur Krista Lukey, who has transformed downtown Guerneville into a hipster destination. We're gonna check out some of the fantastic businesses that she's opened up in the last decade that have put Guerneville on the map. Originally started by the Gern family in 1850 as a logging community, Guerneville has historically been a sleepy town of about four to 5,000 residents that serves as a weekend getaway for San Franciscans. It's gone through several reincarnations. First as a hippie collective, then as a gay getaway, and now a hipster haven. Lutke, who is originally from San Francisco, first arrived here in Guerneville with the opening of her eco-boutique hotel, Boone Hotel Plus Spa. It's got 14 rooms in a modern and minimalist style, which will become the hallmarks of all of her future ventures here in Guerneville. Boone is named after Lutke's rescue dog. This blissful adult geared bed and breakfast boutique hotel is situated a stone's throw from the Armstrong Redwood State Natural Reserve with a focus on rest and rejuvenation. There's a small spa offering heavenly facials and massages and a zen garden perfect for meditation under the tall trees. The resort is dotted throughout with furniture handcrafted from local redwood remnants. Rooms look out over the saline pool and spa with honors bar. There's also a chicken coop and kitchen garden which contribute fresh ingredients to the yummy breakfast. The resort is less than a mile from downtown Guerneville. She realized that in order for her hotel to be successful, guests also needed dining options in town. So the following year, she opened up Boone Eat Plus Drink, which is a cozy 36-person California bistro serving California farm fresh comfort foods. They don't take reservations, so come early during peak season. The decor is modern, casual, and intimate. There's a patio for al fresco dining, and inside the walls are decorated with whimsical silhouettes of Boone the dog. The seasonal menu is heavy on local fare, some from what the restaurant and hotel grow. The homestyle mac and cheese is a must. This are the truffle fries. These trio of pork meatballs are true comfort food with a tangy marinara sauce and melted burrata on top of it. Or try the tasty burrata cheese paired with a red beet and hazelnut pesto. The kids love the fall squash roasted with mushrooms and goat cheese in a brown butter and sage sauce. The marinated beets were divine and served on a rich bed of smoked crumb fresh, dried black olives and hazelnuts for a crunchy texture. The lacinto kale and fennel salad was super fresh with bursts of persimmon and pomegranate. And the soup of the day was a cream of red pepper. So delicious. And those were just the appetizers. For the main course, Boone offers a thick and juicy grass-fed beef burger dressed with arugula and pickled onion on a brioche bun. The grilled hanger steak and potatoes were perfectly cooked, surprisingly tender and so savory, smothered in a smoked chipotle cream. Kayla ate it all up. Boone's take on veggie lasagna made with polenta and ricotta was surprisingly dense. Tyler, with his teen boy appetite, only managed to finish half before crying mercy. For lighter fare, there's a seared cod option accented with basil piston on a big bowl of beautiful gigante beans braised in a gorgeous fennel sauce. And we capped it all off with a few glasses of spicy Russian River wine to wash it all down. In 2011, Lukey's next project was Big Bottom Market, a joint venture with Michael Volpat and Kate Larkin, who own a PR agency together. The idea was to provide a grab-and-go counter for picnic items. This is sort of a general store meets farmer's market meets gourmet deli. All the items in here are carefully curated to present Sonoma's finest. 
The most famous item are the house biscuits. Selected by Oprah Winfrey for her annual holiday shopping favorite things in 2016, it's based on Lukey's Grandma Stein's old recipe. Kayla and I share the sea biscuit, a phenomenally light composition of smoked salmon, creme fraiche, pickled onions, and capers. The biscuit is so fantastically light and flaky, it crumbles as you cut into it. It's also incredibly moist without being gummy. Heavenly. I love the salmon locks, capers, and the really fresh, fresh red onions. It's kind of like a California interpretation of the classic New York style. Biscuits are quite good. They're extraordinarily soft and spongy. They come with a couple of different toppings. Uh, the second thing I was looking at was biscuits and gravy. Kayla and I devour the salmon biscuit in like two seconds flat, so I hope to order another one. This one is the biscuits with gravy. Looks delish. So this gravy is so fantastic. Um, it's very creamy. I think it might be a chicken broth based gravy. And it's got just tons of spices in it. You can see over here, there's like little bits of thyme in it. Um, I think there's some rosemary in it and there's a flavor to it. I can't really quite put my finger on it. I want to say it's like cardamom or something, but it's got sort of a slightly sweet uh, kick to it at the end. In 2014, Lutke's next project was to open El Barrio Bar, a place where people could go for pre- and post-dinner drinks. El Barrio is a play on words. Uh, El Barrio itself means the neighborhood, and if you take Barrio and separate it into Bar Rio, that means River Bar. So El Barrio is your neighborhood River Bar. Unfortunately, it was closed during our stay, but definitely dropped by for their hand-selected flights of tequila, mezcal, and bourbon or the super creative mixed drinks. Lutke's latest project is the Guerneville Bank Club, which is a art and retail collective. And it's got this eclectic mix of vendors. The building used to be the old Bank of Guerneville and the owner, Bob Pullum, collaborated with Lutke to transform this space, which had been abandoned for 30 years, into this beautiful space. This place has an awesomely retro vibe. The old bank vault has been updated to a photo booth in the back. Photos get uploaded to their website. The central counter showcases Nimble and Finn's hand-churned ice creams made with Strauss cream. I loved flavors like vegan coconut caramel and molasses with ginger snaps. So creamy yet light. Also featured is Chili Pies Baking Company with its seasonal slightly off traditional flavors like pear cranberry cardamom and spiced pumpkin. For our Thanksgiving meal, I got a Mexican chocolate pecan pie to go. Guerneville is so delightful. It still retains a lot of that small river town charm to it. But Lukey really has brought in a lot of the modern sensibility and high quality cuisine to this area. It's a bit of a paradox. The environment is rooted in the old world, and yet to vacation here is to enjoy the amenities of the 20th century. If you're a foodie, you've definitely got to give Guerneville a try. Until next time, from the old bridge, peace out, geeksters.